Hi, Dan. My question for today is, for a quantum leap to happen, is effort required? Not always. There has to be energy coming in from someplace because in quantum physics, the word quantum leap, which is used for to mean all kinds of things, was originally described in the 1930s. And it was describing the way an electron, which orbits an atom, suddenly jumps up to a higher energy level, a higher orbit. And when it releases that energy that it's absorbed, it gives off visible light. And that visible light comes in specific quantities called quanta. And that was part of the development of early quantum physics was how electrons behave. And all they have to do is absorb. They can't produce the energy themselves, but they absorb light energy that interacts with the electron and boosts it immediately, boosts it to an outer orbit with no effort on the part of the electron at all. It's something that has to happen as it absorbs that energy. And when you're taking the quantum leap, which is kind of what you're describing, Brenda, it can be energy that's coming, uh, I wanna say coming through you rather than from you because it's coming from, all energy comes from the universe, from infinite intelligence. It comes to you and through you, but it does, it's not created within you. When you get an idea, the idea, when you say an idea comes to me, that exactly describes what's happening. It's the voice giving you that idea. And it can then boost you to a higher level with no effort on your part. So our focus has to be the feeling. And when we get into the feeling, as if we already have it now, ideas will come to us and we have to act on it. So if you have an event, you feel now as if the event is full. Everyone is there. And when you step into the feeling, you will get ideas and then you have to act on those ideas. But there are going to be things that need to be done there. There's the little housekeeping that always has to be done. And, you know, as much as I want to do one thing, I still have to make sure the dishes are in the dishwasher and, you know, those kinds of things have, have to be done that may not even seem like they're related, but they are. Your main priority is to continue to focus on the feeling of having achieved your goal. Then you will get ideas for actions to take. Then finally, take the actions. Right. And it may be need somebody else to help too. I mean, that happens. Thanks for being with us today. My goal is to give you value with every lesson. If you would like us to notify you every time a new lesson is ready, click subscribe below, then turn on notification. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.